possibilities. She's got it together, knows how to treat them right. Just mix it and bake it. There's gonna be a casserole tonight. A home cooked meal you're making with Campbell's soup, chicken, rice, and cheese. Straight from the oven, bring them together. It's sure to please. Mm-mm, good Campbell. Cheesy chicken and rice casserole. Possibilities. Every day just got a little brighter with Citrusel. Unlike other fibers, only Citrusel's fiber helps restore regularity without causing excess gas. Citrusel, feel good every day. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy. Get happy in cozy coats, hats, and scarves. On sale now, only at Kmart. When people find out Breakstone's Cottage Doubles has half the sugar of yogurt, it leaves them in a dilemma. What to do with their yogurt? Breakstone's Cottage Doubles. The best part of the show is the Hot Topics. Yeah, this Hot Topics is going to be a blast. Coming up today, star of the new movie Man of the Year, Laura Linney. Plus, Indigo Girls are singing their latest hit today on an all-new view. ABC 7, your election station for vote 2006. Sunday morning at 9, watch the candidates face off when Channel 7's Bill Ritter moderates the New York Attorney General debate. Sunday morning at 9, right here on ABC 7. You're watching Channel 7, New York's number one station. All new. Get ready. It's something so huge. Oprah and Bono are leaving the studio in the middle of a show. Next Oprah. Today at 4, right here on ABC 7. kitchen table with a couple of buddies. It's, uh, it's, it's Law and Order Day here on the show, and I was so, so excited. Thank you so much. I know you're in the middle of shooting, but both Jesse L. Martin and S. Just call me Paith. Uh, uh, Paith. That's okay, easier. thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Essie Paith is a mouthful. It is, it is yeah, a mouthful, but yeah. they, they stop by while they're filming Law and Order to come visit and hang out with us at the kitchen table, and I just thank you so much again for coming. Yeah, it's really a pleasure. Glad to be here. So we were talking about all the things, you've been on the show 13 year, 13 seasons, mm -hmm. eight seasons, all the things you do when you're not being fake law enforcement people. <laughs> That's a bad way to put it. So, yeah, when I, we're not playing our roles. Yeah, okay. There you go, there you go. I don't know, I'm all tongue-tied. It's, it's my favorite show. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just big loser nerd girl today. I'm just geek. So, now, you're from, we're, we're kind of both, both of our places, they call us upstaters, but you're yes. from the west of the state, and yes. I'm from Buffalo. the north. Yeah. Buffalo, New York. And so you're doing something out Yeah, in, in a couple of weeks I'm going to Buffalo to do a little independent movie. I mean, because I work on Law & Order all the time, I have to sort of sneak these little jobs in. So I'm going there for a weekend to shoot two days, three scenes, in this movie called Buffalo Bushido by this guy Peter McGinnis, who's directing and wrote it. And it's a big deal to go back to Buffalo. I have a foundation yeah, there, cool. Classics for Kids. Which we, it's fantastic. We send kids to see plays and concerts and stuff for free. It's so important. It's, well, it? it's because when I was a kid, mm. somebody did it for me. And guess right. who it was? Who? Rick James. Get out of here. He had, yes. That is wow. so cool. I mean, he didn't do it for me specifically, but, no, but he, it was a program. He, there yeah. was a fun so kids could go see shows and, you know, plays and fantastic. stuff. That is fantastic. What's yours called? Classics, Classics for, kids. for Kids. Yeah. Uh, it's so nice to see people that give back to the community that they come from, too. So. You have good, to. I mean, good, you have to. Good night, nice Chester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Independent movies. I you, got a couple coming. You're in a couple of them too, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, I did one this this summer with Anthony Hopkins. Say it right. <laughs> oh, sir. sir. No, no, Tony. Oh, Tony. <laughs> I can call him Tony. Tony, because yeah. because you're best friend <laughs> okay, now. Okay. Okay. But it was great fun with Panula Flanagan, and we were out in the desert. I'd never spent that kind of time in the desert, and it's going to be great. Called? It's called uh, Slipstream. Slipstream. And then last year I did one with you Sam and Jackson. Tony just hang. <laughs> I know. I love that Tony. That's I got nice. I got a message from him on my cell phone, and I nearly lost it. Oh my God! Yeah. I, 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 I kept it for like two months. <laughs> I have ones that I save like uh, you know forever and ever and ever. Right. There. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would never have to. Tony. Exactly. Oh. And then I did one last year with, um, with um, Sam Jackson called Black Snake Moan. 
And Justin uh, Timberlake. With, wait, wait, there's and snakes Christina in this Re one too. No, what is no, with? no. No, no actual snakes. No, in this no, one. because I wouldn't survive. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know the word phobia. Yeah, no, I don't like them. No. Things with no legs. No, I have uh -uh. a major snake uh -uh. phobia. Yeah, yeah, me too. She can't even see snakes on TV. <laughs> I swear to God. There's nothing wrong with that. I have no, a time I have a time. I just think it's funny. Time. She called me. <laughs> She called, you see her head, she gonna oh, kick my God. butt when this He always over. does this to me. She called me the other day, because mm -hmm. we I got her into Battlestar Galactica 2. She's watching it. <laughs> and there's a scene, and I forgot. I should have told her, I should have prepared her. But I forgot you that did. there was a scene with a whole bunch of snakes in it. And I left him a message, and he, to this day, he doesn't know did what I go, said. Did you go, like, go run it in the other room? No, <laughs> I was running around the apartment. <laughs> Because I literally closed my eyes when I heard them, and it just kept going for like a minute oh, or two. Yeah, and then the, the, woman says, really the woman says, how many did you see? And she said, a dozen. And I just lifted up. <laughs> and he, to this day, I don't know what I said to him. It probably wasn't and nice. like, the snakes! Bye! <laughs> I can't believe you'd even read a script with the word snake in it, but what's, what's, what's but that's that what I called? asked. That's what I It's, <laughs> it's called Black thing. Snake Moan. Black Snake Moan. You the, said snakes in it or not. That's what I said. Exactly. Yeah, I can't do it. Because even Sam Jackson couldn't make you do that. Look, and I've known Sam Jackson a long time, yeah. but I, I don't even think the president could make you do that. <laughs> you couldn't be ordered to. No. Not me either. I don't, I don't trust things with no legs. I like quiet people. No. no. <laughs> quiet people freak me out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, now Doug's, thank God Doug's here. The show would never go anywhere. There's Doug. Doug's telling me, and we should. I did do that set crash. That's where I stole my fake brick from. So we should take a look at it. And they blew up uh, this big building. And I also met the new, the newest addition to the cast. Milena Govich. Milena Govich. Fabulously detective. beautiful, mm -hmm. super cool, very friendly. Very mm -hmm. sweet. So very cool. Very good girl. You can't good believe actor. she's a tough cop, but she, you know, she's a good she is. Actor. So take a look at this. And you guys, I know that you are in the middle of shooting. You have to get back to set and all that. So we made you a little snack that maybe you guys would like to eat while everybody's watching that. Um, I know uh, you love buffalo wings. Yeah. You buffalo, and you seem to have a thing for, do you like uh, goat, goat cheese, love the crispy it. goat cheese on salad? Ooh. So oh, can you bring out their snacks, guys? Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, you guys take a look at this. Yes. You guys oh want some crash. It's really cool. Oh, right, go on, guys. got some wine, too. Oh, my God. One of the things I love about Law & Order is the gritty reality of the show. They shoot the show on the real streets of New York, and boy, did my visit to this set Action. start out with a bang. Anyone else in the house? Neighbors say it's just him living there. But what caused it? There's a new cop in town. Meet Detective Ed Green's new partner, Nina Cassidy, AKA Milena Govich. When I was a kid, I used to be afraid of falling air conditioners. What is it like as an actor stepping into something that's been around for 16 years? I feel so honored. Everyone just really encouraged me to dig in and make bold choices. So I, I almost instantly felt like part of a family. I read that your uncle and I think one of your cousins are real cops. Yeah, my uncle Gary taught me how to shoot a gun. Awesome! And hey, you know, since TV's make-believe, the debris you see is mostly foam rubber. Here's a foodie fact. The dust is ground up English walnuts. Walnut dust, that's the smoke, crazy. Now I don't know about you, but I love a man in a uniform. Oh, I'm telling you. You are surrounded by not only men in blue, but firemen for the show. I know, and you know what? A lot of these firemen that are here with us today yeah. are the real deal. Um, that's why they look so good in that fire get -up. Yeah, yeah. So here it is, number 103. Yep. They invited me to dinner. And right. I think it's rude to say no to a man in a uniform, don't you? <laughs> Thank you very much. I kissed a fireman. <laughs> I did, I kissed a fireman. Oh my God. So, you guys, uh, it's so cute. They play so nicely together. They're sharing, he traded her a wing, that they're sharing their love. Well, we wanted you to be well fed when you go back to your set. This is great. This is the best show ever. <laughs> I love this show. Are those, 
Are those okay, Mr. Buffalo? You know Are they what? okay, Wings? They're really good. They ain't my mama's, but they real good. Oh, well, they can't be your mama's. <laughs> you guys, thank you both so much for coming thank by. Really it's the pleasure. best show on television. It really is. You have to watch this season, every season, and we'll have all the information about their projects and everything they're doing on our website, so check that out, too, and please come back anytime. We love you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Oh, they didn't bring me any wine. <laughs> Heading your way, real makeup tips from real women. I use a little bit of foundation. Then you put your lipstick on, it seals it in, and it really stays on so much longer. And what's for dinner tonight? A fancy looking meal that's a snap to put together. It's so fussy, and yet it's so easy. I love a good fake out. Closed captioning provided by Lil Critters Gummy Bites give kids the essential vitamins they need. Now with 10 free bears, the best-selling, best-tasting gummy bear vitamins are an even better value. Look for Lil Critters in the vitamin section. Ringing in the ears? I had that problem too. Then I got lipoflavonoid clinically tested, no drugs. It helps relieve the ringing in your ears. Ask your pharmacist about lipoflavonoid. It's wonderful. I'm Sam Champion. When you really need to know what's up with the weather, you know what to do. Watch Eyewitness News. This is the only place where you can get the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and AccuTrack Plus. Which helps us give you the most accurate forecast, period. It also, and here's the important part, tracks that storm right to your neighborhood. So when severe weather strikes, we're right on top of it. It's weather for your life. So when you really need to know what's up with the weather, you know what to do. Stay with AccuWeather and the Eyewitness News weather team right here on ABC7. Carpet cleaning fanatic. With two kids, two dogs, a husband, and almost white carpet, I get my carpets cleaned about every three months. Stanley Steamer is by far the most professional company I've ever used. With other local cleaners, I didn't know who was coming, and I had to pay 